Welcome back to Capo Review. We're continuing our conversation with Senator Capito on her trip to refugee centers in Poland and Germany. Senator Capito, we know President Biden is meeting with global leaders in Europe this week. So just based off of your experience, what do you think President Biden should do to stop Putin? Well, I think that we're recognized as a superpower and we need to act like it. I think that uh, President Biden has been making decisions behind Europe. Europe and the NATO partners will cut off uh, cut off Nord Stream 2, the pipeline, or they'll have economic sanctions, and then you'll see the, the, the United States follow maybe a week later. We need to be out front. Uh, I mean, we need to be the leader here. That's what Zelensky told us uh, in his address to Congress. So there will be that, I think, um, discussion as to who's leading the charge here for NATO. Uh, who's providing, we know we're providing the, some of the funding, a lot of the funding. Le other countries have got to step up and they're beginning to do that and we see that. And you know, I'll give uh, credit to President Trump. That was one thing that he really talked about was how the other NATO countries don't pay their fair share. Well, they're, they're very much alert. This is their 9-11, this is how they describe it to us. So I wanna see our president be strong and forceful and also forward leaning in, in ways to be able to help the Ukrainian people. And you brought up President Zelensky. Could I just get your feedback and just your reaction to how powerful that address was when he spoke to Congress? Well, President Zelensky has been masterful, I think, at garnering strength uh, around the world. Uh, he's describing what's going on in his country in very human terms, in terms of families being broken apart, in terms of property damage, in terms of uh, the, the attempt to break the spirit of the Ukrainian people. But he comes back with, very powerful statements of uh, love of country, love of freedom, uh, but he, he always t attaches a sense of urgency to it. And he did that in his address to Congress. You Thank you for what you've done. We need to do more and you need to do it quicker and we need to be more effective. And, and so uh, that message I think is the one that is the most important for his country. Uh, and that's the one that it resonated with us. And then when they showed the video, uh, very powerful images of uh, such destruction, both human destruction and property destruction, just terrifying. And, and your trip, how dangerous is this war now to the neighboring countries? The biggest fear that you heard from people in Poland and Germany right now? Well, I think you've hit it right on the, the nail on the head there in terms of what the fear is, is that if Putin does not get stopped here, we know he won't stop. Uh, and then there are countries that are associated with NATO, like uh, Latvia and L Lithuania, there's Moldova, there's Poland, right there on the border. These countries then become the next conquest of a basic madman, a war criminal. And, and so that's the big concern, I think, that we heard all throughout Europe. This is not in their backyard, this is in their front yard. West Virginia Senator Shelley Moore Capito, thank you so much for being here for your time. Thanks for having me on, thank you.